commenced our tour by visiting Cambodia. Cambodia is a country in South East Asia, in the Indochina Peninsula, on the Gulf of Thailand. It has an area of 71,000 square miles and a population of 5.7 million. CM Reap is an old colonial town and the gateway to the temples of Aqua. Aqua Wat is a massive three tiered pyramid crowned by five beehive like towers. Aqua Wat is a temple mountain constructed in the form of Mount Mira, the center of the universe from Hindu mythology. At the apex of Khmer political and military domination, Sir Yarven Men II constructed Akawat as his state temple and dedicated it to Vishnu, the Hindu god. The next temple we visited was Bear Kom, the most impressive temple in the group. This is the outer gate. Siam Reap is a World Heritage Site. When King Su Yan Vanman II commenced this construction work in the late 12th century, he was 54 years old and he was very anxious to complete the work before his death.
his sight once contained a massive image of the Buddha. Now this is all that remains. This temple contains many heads of the Buddha. The mythical animals that guard the king's palace. The entrance to the palace, which only the king himself is allowed to use. the throne room. The east gate, which only the king is allowed to use.
this tree appears to hold up the temple. Rumor has it that if this tree collapse, so will the temple. the dancing girls who entertain the king. The soldiers whose names are recorded here perished in captivity. And their ashes are buried together in two graves in Plot 9. Their glory shall not be blotted out. After visiting Cambodia, we made a short stop in Thailand, where we visited the bridge on the River Kwai. This is a war cemetery where the service personnel who were killed building the Burma Railway are buried. It is tragic to see how young most of them were. just 23. Twenty two. The bridge on the River Kwai.
one of the engines that pulled the trains on the Burma Railway. Vietnam is a country in Southeast Asia, occupying the eastern part of the Indochina Peninsula on the South China Sea. Its area is 127180 square miles and it has a population of 5.7 million. Our first port of call was Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. This is Notre Dame Cathedral. This is the post office, built in the old French colonial style. Government offices, also built in the old French colonial style. Rex Hotel This is the Opera House. It was built by the French and today it still has performances of Western operas. After visiting Ho Chi Minh City, formerly Saigon, we then went for a cruise down the Saigon River where we observed the luxury villas built by the side of the river. After our cruise, we were invited to a Vietnamese wedding. The most spectacular part of this wedding was watching the guests arrive. Enough, is he? The place we visited were the tunnels. These were built by the Viet Cong to infiltrate the American bases. Go down, the wood swell up, stick together. So the, stop the water coming in. It's not too deep. It's just deep. It's yeah. only there. Yeah. That and you go further down to the tunnels. Yeah. Oh. So the tunnel system is like a center. Uh, 
a maintenance and there are many other oh. around. So some chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it looks like you're mm. oh, oh, yeah. I know, not nice. Oh. <sighs> ...were built by the Viet Cong for the purpose of trapping American patrols. Direction. Oh, the PX. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so from here you could also go to Saigon River. Just one kilometer. Maybe that make way. <laughs> So this is an uh, American tank, M41. So M41 was one of the smallest tanks that was used by Americans at the time in South Vietnam. So right here it was destroyed by a self-delayed mine while it was coming from a U.S. base, straight here. I show you the self. This is the meeting room where the Viet Cong met to discuss their operations. One can observe a picture of Ho Chi Minh. This is the kitchen where the food was prepared. The Viet Cong survived mainly on dried tapioca. The people in the kitchen got some time to escape. So we go to the hospital. Okay, they do when I just walk up. <laughs> so these are the models of the uh, gorillas. Mm -hmm. Local gorillas. Yes, and the tunnels, we then made a dash to try and reach the temple for the noon mass.
Jews' temple is unique. It is probably the only temple in the world where Buddhist, Christians and Muslims worship together. Our visit to the temple concluded our stay in Ho Chi Minh City. We then flew to Dalang. where we visited the Chard Museum. This museum relates to a culture that flourished from 192 AD until the 14th century. This is the Grunda, the vehicle of the Hindu dynasty, Vishnu, mythical bird that has the head of a lion and the wings, beak and legs of a bird. Our next stop was Marble Mountain. The second king in Vietnam, that of the last monarchy, he came here and he had to sit before him. And we go in. some people like to become a king, they take a stick and pass it in front of it becomes the reality. The original throne of the king of Vietnam. the Marble Mountain Pagoda, where one can observe three Lady Buddhas. Three Buddhas. Oh, the water still drops somewhere and they made another temple. But a thousand years ago, the people didn't know uh, it's, it's that time. Right? If you go to the network, you can see it's a bigger one. And BC, they use this for hiding. These are the Marble Mountain Caves. The pagoda with the sea in the background.
Da Nang Chu He, you will see another Buddha, similar name, but it's much bigger than this one. This was built at the same time, 1972. A typical street of Vietnam. bridge separating the Japanese and the Chinese part of the town. A typical waterfront view. We left Dainang and travelled by coach to the imperial city of Hu. We travelled along the pass of ocean clouds and we enjoyed the beautiful scenic views. These towers were built by the French on the highest point of the pass of ocean clouds. Our next views are of the beautiful beaches and coastline. This is the mausoleum which was built by the kings of Vietnam and it contains their tombs.
otherwise known as the Forbidden Purple City, because only the king was allowed to enter here. King's Library. These urns represent the kings of Vietnam. There is one urn for every king of Vietnam. The view looking down over the palace.
The Palace Moat. After visiting the palace, we went to visit the pagoda. This pagoda is still used by the monks. We beat the bell at four o'clock in the morning for way waking up the people live on the other bend of the river. <laughs> so the, the, at the time we have no clock, no alarm clock. That is why we just listen to the bell yeah, and we do wake, yes. It's okay. <laughs> so we go. Large bell is used only on ceremonial occasions. This bell is in daily use. you can see the tomb you could see the tomb like that but the moon still alive here only no different under the earth the monks, you can yeah. see the um, very new park at the front because when he died they did a hole and underneath the, the garden which is tended by the monks touring, it was now time to relax and take a cruise on the Perfume River.
These are the homes of the boat people. People who live their entire lives on the river. We left Hugh and travelled to Halong Bay. At Halong Bay, we vi visited these beautiful caves. has been designated a World Heritage Site. It is an archipelago of 3,000 islands and magnificent rock formations. visited the Walter Puppet Theatre in Hanoi. How these puppets operate is a closely guarded trade secret.
Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. This is the last place we visited on our tour. We visited the mausoleum of Ho Chi Minh and saw his body lying in state. Unfortunately, we are unable to photograph it. Pagoda. We next
next visited the National Museum of Vietnamese History. This is a replica of a 15th century stone. The turtle is one of the animals symbolizing longevity. statue of Confucius. The teachings and principles of Confucius are encouraged and taught in the university. This is the university canvas. Mason Central Prison, where many political prisoners were held. And finally, the view of Hanoi from our hotel window. took a day trip to Laos. Laos is a landlocked country in Southeast Asia in the Indochina Peninsula between Vietnam and Thailand. It has an area of 91 thousand square miles and a population of 3.5 million. We visited the little fishing villages of Moment.
the restaurant boat. villagers' houses, hydroelectric plant.